It's Bonnie. Happy Tuesday. Oh my goodness, you guys. I've got so much to talk about this week. I'm excited. We just did Black Friday, Cyber Monday. They were good. I enjoyed myself for those two sales. And now we're moving into like the really exciting sale time at Bath and Body Works. Candle Day, Body Care Day, semi-annual sale. So today, I'm doing it, you guys. I am doing how to make a candle day wish list for 2022. It was funny, last year, I don't know what was wrong with me last year. I did a whole like Excel spreadsheet and I even confused myself. <laughs> so we're going old school now. I try to do this in the most simplest way because like I said last year, I, I basically, I, I, I just burned my candle, which last year was so complicated. Remember last year we had those Giving Tuesday candles, the peppermint marshmallow? I haven't seen that on any list, by the way. Um, it was a little confusing last year. So what I did to make Candle Day easier this year um, for myself and hopefully for you is I created a blog post on my Queen of the Girl Geeks blog. I will put the link below. It's just basically uh, queenofthegirlgeeks.com. And I have some tips for Candle Day. And then what I also did um, was I have the current candles online. I sorted them by collection. And I'm going to go through this a little bit because that kind of rolls into uh, how to have a successful candle day. So let me give you a little information first. So this is candle day week, as I like to call it, which means that there's a lot of stuff showing up on Instagram. People are blogging. It's a ton of really good information out there about Candle Day. I suggest um, checking out other channels because you're going to get a lot more information. I always like uh, Tina Marie, Philly Candleman. Definitely check them out. Uh, Life Inside the Page, her blog has a ton of information. Um, like I said, there's a lot of good people out there who are sharing Candle Day info as it rolls in. I'm actually going to have a lot more information tomorrow on the new candles. Uh, today, I'm pretty much going to focus on the Christmas candles because these are an important part of Candle Day. So right now, you can basically get as much or as little information as you want. If you really want to know what candles are going to be available? I suggest checking out um, Life Inside the Page, uh, Tessa's blog. She's got a really comprehensive list out there. Um, I like to wait a little bit longer to reveal them because you never know. Bath and Body Works could pull a couple. Some of them might only be um, in test stores. There's just a lot of... Um, information out there. And I always like to do like the official Bath and Body Works information. Now I'm hearing myself, I'm hearing everything too. I am hearing that the price this year should be $9.95, which I figured last year it was $10.25. I always say when I do my candle day videos, it's approximately $10 because that's usually where it is, give or take. Um, change. So I usually, when I do my candle day budget, I always go off like the $10 price point. And then of course, if you have coupons, you're going to get a lot less. Um, you know, it, it all depends, but a lot of people don't have coupons. I know there's a lot of the 10 off 40 floating around out there. So I usually advise people when they're planning their budget, just use the $10 price point, And then if you save money, you'll have that extra money in your pocket but you won't go over budget, which is really important. So this year, uh, my candle day budget, my personal candle day budget is $200. So that is 20 candles. Um, I like to gift a few. I like to save a couple of the Christmas candles in my collection. And there's a couple that I like to burn um, going into January. So you kind of got to figure out your goal for candle day. Um, are you trying to get Christmas candles? Because a lot of people want to stock up on these Christmas candles because Bath & Body Works does not do Christmas year round like a lot of other companies. Kringle and Goose Creek, they're going to have the Christmas candles in the store or online. Um all year. So you can always get a Christmas candle. But, um, you know, if peppermint hot chocolate is one of your favorite candles, you're not going to see it again 
until possibly next year, maybe never. So a lot of people do want to pick up the candles um, during candle day while they're at their least expensive to have in their collection. So we have the entire Christmas collection. Um, I'm going to go through uh, the collections uh, just a little bit as we do our wish list because, um, oh my gosh, there are so many candles this year for Christmas. As I'm putting them all on the blog, I'm like, wow, this is overwhelming, even for me. It always is. And then we're going to get an entire collection of exclusives, new candles, springy candles. We move into candle day itself, which I don't know yet if they're starting Friday or Saturday. That's the thing that I, I don't have like a clear uh, date on. Um, I'm assuming they're probably going to go online on Friday. I don't know if it's going to be in store. I'm assuming it would be, but we'll we'll get to that later. That That's like a, a couple of days from now. We'll have more information. So what I recommend to all of you today is to start doing a candle day wish list for 2022. And this is super helpful. Uh, I put little stickers on mine, make it all festive. I like the list because if you're shopping online, you can check them off as you put them in your cart. And then if you're in the store, um, if you just have like even a highlighter in your pocket or your purse, you can kind of just cross them off as you're in the store and it gets you a little bit more organized. So for me, what I did was, um, like I said, if you go to my blog, uh, queenofthegirlgeeks.com, you'll see each collection. So for example, where did I put that one? Um, this is an online exclusive collection. So you need to make note of that because if it's not in the store, you're not going to find it. So this is your vanilla bean marshmallow, your blueberry sugar, pink fairy gumdrop, red velvet cupcake, salted caramel, and merry mistletoe. Of these, I want to get a blueberry sugar, a red velvet cupcake, and a merry mistletoe. I really love the blueberry sugar, and I want a, um, a duplicate of that. I am also hearing we're getting mashups, so... I'll be talking about those later in the week. So the next collection um, that is out there that you're going to want to choose from, I suggest choosing the candles by collection. That's why I did it on my blog, so you can just pick which ones you want. We've got White, white Eucalyptus and Sage, uh, Winter White Woods, Blush Poinsettia, which I have right here. This one is really good. If you haven't tried this one, it's a really nice... Um, it's like a winter marshmallowy uh, rose scent, but I love it. And I'm not even that florally. And then fresh winter air. So um, if you want this one, put it on your list. We also have the holiday traditions candles, which did I not pull one of those? I don't think I pulled one. Um, it's just basically a uh, twisted peppermint winter candy apple and the sugared snickerdoodle. Very uh, classic. If you want Twisted Peppermint, Winter Candy Apple, and Vanilla Bean Noel, put them on your candle day list. Get them now. Um, I don't think these Christmas candles are going to make it to semi-annual sale. Already in the stores, this one with the Santa Claus face, the perfect Christmas. I don't even think it's available online. And um, these glass lid candles are already uh, selling out in store. I mean, I couldn't even find them. Uh, there's a couple left online. So those are going to be the first to go on Candle Day. I think during Candle Day, a lot of the Christmas is obviously going to be sold out. So if you want Christmas, um, you're going to want to get it during Candle Day. Okay, so the next collection I want to talk about is the um, Sugar Plum Fairy. A lot of these candles are classic. A lot of people want them. I have hot cocoa and cream on my list. I also get, I want to get the Marshmallow Fireside in this design because a lot of times you want to collect the entire set. And that's why I did it on my blog that way. Um, so you can see which collections are in the set. And um, you might want to get all eight of these. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think there's nine. I actually think there's nine of these. Um, but this is a beautiful set. This is, I think, one of the cutest sets uh, that Bath & Body Works has out this year. So pick which ones. 
The Striped Candles. You know how much I love this collection. I already have all six of them. However, I do want a second Merry Maple Bourbon, and I also want Spiced Gingerbread. Now, the one thing that you have to keep in mind also is that a lot of times Bath & Body Works has duplicate scents in different jar designs. For example, Tis the Season, uh, Fresh Balsam, you're going to be able to get candles in... Um, either jar design. Things start to sell out. You might not care much about that jar design because if you really want Tis the Season, you're going to take whatever candle Tis the Season uh, is available in. So you kind of got to think that out a little bit. Um, for the most part, new scents tend to sell out faster. Um, like the Strawberry Snowflakes. I know everyone likes that one. Um, classic scents. So I have the, uh, the little... It's a Woodland Creatures collection, but these are Snowmen, Crushed Candy Cane, Frozen Lake, Frosted Coconut Snowball, Sweater Weather, Cinnamon Caramel Swirl. I need to put on my list. I just realized I forgot to put Cinnamon Caramel Swirl on my list. See, I'm doing the same thing, you guys. This is difficult. <laughs> oh, by the way, I got new nail polish today. I got the Essie uh, Head to Mistletoe. Head to Mistletoe. Now my finger looks awful because I burned it on Thanksgiving. <laughs> But that's a neat, I love this nail polish. Um, the other one I have on my list, I did put that one, Tree Farm. I feel like Tree Farm is a little bit hidden this year. That was very prominent, in like, you know, past years. If you want Tree Farm, which is a really good balsam, um, it is in this collection. So you're going to want to make note of that. Um, one thing I also did is I put all of the scent notes on my blog so that you can easily, um, you know, kind of look to see which scent notes are appealing to you. And then Snowflakes and Citrus is also part of that collection. Uh, one of the next, like, massive collections uh, from Bath & Body Works is this one. I call them the Foil Christmas Candles. They never, like, say what these are called. I mean, usually if you're on Tessa's blog, she'll say what the collections are called. But Bath & Body Works typically doesn't name their collections. Um, this one is Frosted Cranberry. Vanilla Snowflake, which I love. I highly recommend this one. This one is fabulous. It's frozen vanilla, iced fur needles, uh, mint leaf, and coconut flakes. I need to review this one. I did hot link a couple of my reviews on my blog. So if you didn't catch them like a couple months ago, you can look at them. Uh, spiced apple toddy, mahogany teakwood, winter. I need to put winter on my list. See, I might alter this and do a top 12. Your candle day wish list keeps moving around. It does. It really does. You're constantly, have a pen ready because you might like cross something out and add something else, but it's a good way to help you keep in your budget. Um, mahogany balsam and fresh sparkling snow. Oh, and Merry Cookie. Merry Cookie is in this collection. So if you're looking for Merry Cookie, don't forget to put Merry Cookie on your list. Okay, then we have the plaid collection. I still have to review Iced Winter Balsam. That's like brand new. Um, su cinnamon Sugared Pecans, Iced Winter Balsam, which is new, Frosted Cranberry, Flannel. Don't forget your cinnamon uh, Christmas Cider. If you like mulled cinnamon, I highly recommend Christmas Cider this year. It is fabulous. It smells like a, a cinnamon taffy. Um, that's warm. It's so good. So, so good. Okay. So then we have the four kind of super Christmassy candles. I call them. Um, we have, it was the night before Christmas. We have the, and I have to get another one of those. I want to get the tis the season with the, um, Christmas vacation, the station wagon with the tree. I love that one. Uh, follow -la -la latte. Um, I'm not even getting a second one, I decided. I'm over that. And Bright Christmas Morning. A lot of people are going to want this on Candle Day just for the jar. It's got kind of a baked sugar cookie scent. Um, I don't think it's the hometown sugar cookies. I like this one better. But a lot of people are going to want this one to set out on Christmas Eve. I would get this one as fast as you can on Candle Day because it might sell out. Um... Next up, we have, these are like geometric snowy jars. Um, they're kind of interesting, but this is your peppermint hot cocoa. If you want peppermint hot cocoa in January, put this on your wish list. 
Um, they also we also have midnight snow, champagne toast, and snowy coconut frost, uh, which is new. Um, next up, we have this collection. I told you there's a lot of candles, so it's easy to miss them for candle day. Like you might forget um, under the Christmas tree, which is part of this collection. I got to review that one. Under the Christmas tree is. Fabulous. It is such a nice uh, balsamy scent. It's fir balsam, juniper berries, vanilla eggnog, and sage leaves. You might not know about them. It's called Under the Christmas Tree. Uh, we also have the Perfect Christmas, which is the Santa Claus one. So if you can't get Santa Claus and you want Perfect Christmas, you can get it in this jar style. Um, Land of Sweets, which is actually um, the, uh, oh my gosh, uh, pomegranate, sugared pomegranate. <laughs> It almost left my head for a minute. And then um, Land of Snow, which is new this year. Um, this is snowy cypress, uh, ice juniper berries, and fresh oak moss. So this is a super cute collection. Don't overlook that one. And then um, we have, oh my gosh, these are, are these luminary candles? You know, I can't, no, they're not. They're not luminaries. I was thinking these were luminaries because they kind of light up. They're like semi-luminary candles. I have luminary on there. So what happens is when these burn down, it looks like the trees are showing through, um, which is kind of a nice effect. Strawberry snowflakes, um, which smells like a strawberry vanilla. Not a lot of strawberry. It's mostly vanilla, but it's nice. It's like a fruity vanilla scent. Um, cinnamon and clove buds. That's on my wish list. Winter Balsam and Firewood, that is also on my wish list. Uh, vanilla Birch and Falling Flurries. So don't forget to look at that collection. And then um, your White Barn Candles. I actually did not put the White Barn col uh, collection on my blog. I, I was already like last night, like two hours in to doing this blog post. These, these lists take forever ever to do um because you have to like organize everything uh by um category it was it was it was intense <laughs> but i'm so glad i did it because it really did help me because i was like wait a minute i never got a tree farm this year i was like i am so glad i looked through the list um you can also go to bath and body works online and look through unfortunately bath and body works does not sort them by collection, which I wish they would. I wish they would just like give the, give each collection a cute name and then um, list all the candles in that collection because it would make our life a lot easier. Um, so then what I'm going to do on the bottom of my wish list is I'm going to start adding the new candles I want. So I saw online, we're getting French baguette. I think in the three wick, again, these aren't online yet, so we don't know for sure. And then I want to get a pink watermelon this year. Um, but as the new candles start to roll in, I will fill this out. I'll probably just do this in pen because I have my cute little stickers on here. <laughs> and then what I'll do is I'll make my list um, of the new candles that I want. The problem when you don't make a wish list is you can easily spend like $500 and you're like, what did I just do? Because I have no idea what I really want. Then you can end up with duplicates or candles you don't like. And now with the new return policy being a little bit stricter, um, it's going to be really hard after Christmas uh, to do an exchange on candles that you don't like unless you have your receipt, uh, driver's license. Um, it's going to be a lot more difficult. So Make your wish list now so you buy what you want and then you don't have to deal with the returns as much, which I, I hate doing returns. I really do. I'd rather just buy what I want and then just keep it. It's, trust me, it's so much easier. So I hope this was helpful. I will be back later. I got more videos for you guys today. Um, let me know what is on your wish list and uh, we'll be talking about Candle Day every single day this week. Uh, leading up to Candle Day, and then um, Candle Day is like a, a long, week-long celebration because then we hit new candles, we got our hauls, we got a lot to talk about. So anyway, thank you as always for watching. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.